Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I have a super easy recipe for you. I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate at home using only three ingredients. I had a request to make chocolate, so here we go. That's what we're gonna do. Again, it's really easy to do. Three ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. And I wanna point out, this is dairy-free chocolate. It's gonna be like a rich, kind of in between a dark and a semi-sweet chocolate. And again, dairy-free, pretty awesome. I'm gonna start with one half cup of coconut oil. And if it's colder in your house, then that coconut oil may have solidified, so just heat it up a little bit in the microwave or on the stovetop until it's completely melted, like so. And then I'm gonna take a sifter, or you could just use a big bowl with a whisk. And then I'm going to put in powdered sugar. This is one half cup powdered sugar. And one half cup of cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder. Now this is just the Hershey's brand of cocoa powder. You could also use the Dutch processed cocoa powder. And you definitely wanna use a sifter or you want to whisk it up in a separate bowl, especially because the powdered sugar and the cocoa powder can get a little lumpy. So let's just sift about half of this, tap it, and we'll sift about half of it in the bowl. And we'll come in here with a whisk and whisk it in with that coconut oil. And let's just go ahead and sift the rest of it in there. Tap a roux on the sides. And we're not doing any cooking or anything. Um, there's other recipes out there that require more ingredients, like you could use cocoa butter instead. And some recipes will use normal butter and have you heat it up on the stove, but we're not gonna do any of that. This is gonna be no cooking involved. Okay, so you are just going to whisk it all together until it's nice and combined. And what you're gonna be left with is essentially a melted chocolate. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this to some molds. Okay, I have a couple different molds that I can use. Well, I have several, I have tons and tons of the silicone molds. And then you can just spoon it in or pour it in. I'm just gonna spoon some in here. And just do a couple of these this way because I wanna do chocolate bars for the rest of them. And I wanna point out, you can use a different sweetener if you want. If you don't wanna use powdered sugar, you could use honey. You could use something like agave nectar. All right, and then this goes into the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes until the chocolate sets. And now I have my granola bar pan that I also use for chocolate bars. We'll just pour some in. Oop, it's gonna be a thick bar. Don't usually wanna make them too thick. And you could change that up a little bit depending on how sweet you want it to be. Okay, and then so into the freezer, once again into the freezer it goes for 20 to 30 minutes. And then when they come out of the freezer and the chocolate is set, you can just kind of remove them from the mold. And look at that, a nice chocolate candy. And then I want to point out that these chocolates will need to be 
stored in the fridge or you can store them in the freezer. Um, they will, especially if your home is warm, they will melt and get soft at room temperature. And then I have these chocolate bars and I'm just gonna pop one of these out. And there you go. Pretty cool. Got a nice little chocolate bar. Awesome. All right, and I just wanna show you uh, this one. I'm gonna just pick it up. And it breaks right in half like that. Really nice. Mmm, 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 mmm. Nice, rich, dark chocolate flavor. Oh yeah. And that is how you make a super easy three ingredient chocolate. If I can do it, you can do it. Once again, just store it in the refrigerator or in the freezer. Otherwise, it's liable to melt at room temperature. I'm Matt Tagler. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm.